This setting here, however, is one that is very familiar for all of us. It's been the remote work environment that we've had to live through over the last 18 months as, all, as we've all worked through the pandemic. Microsoft's been studying this quite a bit because we believe that the same technology will empower the future of hybrid work. 73% of the workers that we've surveyed believe that they need to continue to have these remote experiences so that they can thrive and grow in their careers and at the same time have work-life balance. 63%, however, have also said that they expect to have strong collaboration and inclusivity, whether they be remote or in person or in hybrid settings. This, in fact, is the hybrid paradox, and we believe technology will solve uh, this moving forward. I'm excited to have Kirsten Robinson, the chief people officer of Ford with me to share more about how Ford is thinking about hybrid work. Kirsten, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks so much, Judson. It's great to be with you. So Kirsten, why don't we start off with how Ford is thinking about hybrid work all up and how you think technology will have a role in your strategy? Uh, we've been on quite the journey for the last 12 to 18 months, and we've spent much of that time listening to our employees and learning, learning how to modernize the way we work and rethink and reimagine the evolution of work. And the hybrid work model is at the center of that for many of our employees. And so the way in which we're thinking about this is as we engage our employees from around the world, what are those tools and technologies that are going to best enable them to work productively wherever they are, whether that's at home, in a coffee shop, or coming into the workplace. And the workplace is going to be very special. It will have a specific purpose around collaboration, innovation, community and well-being and we can't bring any of that together without the right technology collaboration tools and the power of the cloud hey thanks so much for sharing that with us kirsten we're really proud of the work that we're doing together and i think it's awesome how ford is incorporating such a people-centric approach towards hybrid work we're going to share a little bit more about how to bring this to life. And I'm here with Leah Stevens. Leah, welcome. Thank you. And thank you so much for being here. You work here in this awesome industry experience center and also in our executive briefing center. And you're responsible for designing so many of these cool spaces. Um, so why don't you take it away and share with us about how we're going to bring some of these experiences to life for Ford. Absolutely. Thanks, Judson. So when we talk about hybrid work at Microsoft, we're talking about a lot of different solutions, everything from Teams and Viva to securing endpoints to Windows 11. But mixed reality has to be a part of that conversation. A few months ago, we announced Microsoft Mesh, which enables shared experiences from anywhere on any device through mixed reality applications. With the magic of Mesh, here is anywhere, and the possibilities are endless. And we're seeing our Microsoft Mixed Reality Partner ecosystem really lean into this idea of mixed reality and AI coming together to transform the way we work and collaborate. So today, I'm excited to be using HoloLens 2 and a remote collaboration app from Spatial, a Microsoft Mixed Reality Partner. Spatial's platform creates virtual spaces that bring people together, and it integrates with the entire Microsoft stack for optimal productivity and collaboration. It also leverages a suite of Azure capabilities, from cognitive services for real-time transcription and translation to spatial anchoring for hologram interaction. Teams-enabled virtual rooms from Spatial are helping bring people together anytime, anywhere. And I've invited Jennifer Kolstad, Global Design Director at Ford, to join me in Spatial and share more about how they're bringing hybrid work from ideation to execution. Jennifer and I have already created our avatars by uploading a 2D headshot into Spatial's app to create our 3D selves. So let's jump in. Hey, Jennifer, it's great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. Thanks very much for inviting me in. So at Microsoft, we're taking a very data-driven approach to the future of hybrid work. And in my role, that really means thinking about how we build hybrid experiences for both customers and partners here at the Industry Experience Center. And you've been leading some very interesting work with Ford's think tank around the future of work for Ford employees, both from the physical spaces that you build to the culture change that you drive. So tell me a little bit, what are you learning from these findings and how are you incorporating that into your workplace designs? Well, we've learned that it's a complicated question. Um, so at Ford Motor Company, we had the opportunity to generate a think tank, as you mentioned, and we invited in a lot of experts on the topic, internal and external to Ford. And together, we've landed on a hybridized future. Um, and this is really describing a decentralized ecosystem and an asynchronous work style. Um, all that is saying that this is about individual choice. Um, those experts that I mentioned came together, and in our discussions, what we landed on were nine guiding principles describing future of work. And those principles are really intended to guide our decisions as we move forward. 
Absolutely, and I think there's something very interesting here that I just want to touch on, and that's this idea of fidgetal experiences. Thanks for pulling this up. Fidgetal usually gets the attention of our audience because it's a new funny word, but uh, what it's describing is um, the new workplace continuum. It's really the combination of physical with digital space. Um, it means that those who are present have an equal opportunity to be productive with those who are not. Absolutely, and what are some of the ways that you're seeing digital being layered into your physical spaces? So we're designing some new attributes, specifically with our New World headquarters in Dearborn, but in other places too, like in Chennai, Sao Paulo, um, in Shanghai. Uh, so we've got components that we're thinking about like what we're describing as the new stand. I think you've got a picture of that right below the, uh, the principles. A newsstand is intended to be a combination of analog and digital information. So it's a place where people gather and pass through. It's a share out of internal and external information, but it's really a community building mechanism. I love that. And in fact, that's something I would love to share with our team here at the Industry Experience Center. Just gonna make a quick note. Newsstands for the Industry Experience Center. I love that, Leah. So Jennifer, I see you've actually dropped in some visuals of what these new spaces will look like. Let me pull this model closer so we can take a better look. Can you tell me a little bit more about what we're seeing here? You're looking at one of our international floor plans. Uh, this one is Shanghai, um, but this was us test fitting the principles that we extracted from Think Tank and applying them to our global assets. So we did the same for Chennai, we did the same as well for Sao Paulo, and we're applying yet the same principles to the hub, which is two million square feet affecting 10,000 people day one. Um, so what you're seeing here in, uh, in China is really about us um, understanding how we can better equip uh, an existing floor plan for a new working model. Again, decentralized work, asynchronous work styles, choice, um, and encouraging people to work differently. So what previously resonated as desk for work is now more about moving, posturing, and wellness. In other words, collaborative work happens in new and different ways. Jennifer, super smart. Really, really can't wait to see these spaces come to life. Thank you so much for being with us today and sharing some of the insights that you have driven with the Think Tank at Ford. Um, can't wait to see them brought to life. You're so welcome. I can't wait to invite you to the new Dearborn campus. Looking forward to it. Awesome. Thanks, Jennifer. Back to you, Judson.